Good morning, saw filers. This is a short video on a simple method to help remove or reduce twist in a van saw. As you can see, this double cut behind me has a bit of a twist. Standing at this end, you can see it's not severe, but it's uh, fairly straightforward to rectify. Twisted a little. If you look at this far end, you can see how the left side is, is, is tipping downwards and the right hand side is the up, the high side. So what we're going to use is we're going to jam a tapered board, the UHMW or plywood, behind the stretcher roll and force the low side of the saw over the high side of the tapered board, sort of like so side of the twist, high side of the twist, high side of the tapered board. We've got the saw stretched on the bench. I'm just going to check the level. And yeah, it's humped up for sure. So I'm going to mark out those worst spots. Okay, so with my straight edge, I identified four sort of peaks in the saw. And I am just going to line up one with the stretcher roll. I'll start over here. And I'll get the wedge board. the saw to twist in the opposite direction as I run it around. That's a pretty aggressive tapered board, so it's almost certainly going to dish the saw, so I'll have to come back and uh, pry up the saw most likely. I have another board that has less taper, less height anyways. I may switch to this one. Quick view of the tapered board itself. It's a kind of a trial and error thing. You can go more or less, whatever is appropriate. Okay, so this is after four treatments with the tapered board. It is in fact the same saw. Uh, there is a pretty good dish I'm in mind with that one that I marked with the X. So to get to this point took four passes around the saw through the stretcher roll. Uh, so like five minutes. Now I will continue to pick away at it and fine tune it and we'll be back in the run soon. Today.